Now at 11, abortion rights and recreational marijuana in Florida. You will have the final say on the November ballot. But a six-week abortion ban is taking effect soon, no matter what. We have complete coverage of today's major decisions from the Florida Supreme Court. Then, a body found inside a Southwest Ranch's mansion, and the victim is a former Miami Dolphins player. I'm tracking record heat coming up for Wednesday in between systems. A cold front comes through with some showers and thunderstorms. And then I'll tell you about a big cool down in time for the weekend. Plus, new shocking details in the murder of a plantation mother and her baby, allegedly at the hands of the child's father. Police reveal how they found the victims. And it's like something out of a horror movie. A flying saw blade hitting a store just seconds after someone walks in. I don't think I would have survived if you touched by that thing. Tonight, hear from the man who lived to share the tale. This is CBS News Miami. Now at 11, the future of abortion rights and recreational marijuana here in Florida will be in the hands of voters. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Naja Sherman, and for Lauren Pastrana, both issues will be on the November ballot, but as soon as next month, a strict six-week abortion ban is set to take effect. It's all part of today's major decisions from the Florida Supreme Court. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero has reaction from both sides tonight. In November, 60% of Floridians will need to vote in favor of limiting government interference with abortion in order for the measure to pass. What it says.